Hey, what is up, Flavor City family? It is Bobby, Art, Desi, Rose, Donnie, everyone coming at you on a Wednesday evening in Chicago. Been a long day, right? Art and I have been busting our butts to get this week's videos ready. We were at the grocery store. We were at two grocery stores, actually. Uh, and now we're home. We're like, yo, should we pop on and do a live stream? And we're like, yeah, why not? Um, and make a killer dinner with you guys. So let's see what's going on here. I got a really good menu for you guys tonight. But before we get to that, let's make sure everything is working okay. Can you guys hear me all call okay? Can you see everything okay? Leave a comment down below. Let's test Art's audio. Art? Hello, can you hear me? It's not gonna be as loud as Bobby, but hopefully mm -hmm. you can at least hear me this time. All right, we got some thumbs up, all good. Let's make sure Art is all good. Tonight's menu, you guys, is gonna be a good one. Like super simple, because we came up with the menu literally an hour and a half ago at Whole Foods after filming two uh, grocery reviews today. And we're like, uh, what should we make? And I want something easy, but nutritious and delicious. Um, so crispy skin salmon with a smoky cocoa spice rub, completely sugar-free, um, buttery garlicky sauteed spinach, and um, the most insanely delicious pan-roasted uh, orange glazed carrots super delicious um, everything is paleo it's keto without the uh, oj but it's a super clean recipe that's going to be phenom so everything sounds good we got citrus heights in the house citrus heights we're making a citrus sauce tonight love that um leave a comment down below let us know where you're watching from let us know what you're having for dinner someone said they're having pizza for dinner while watching so they don't get hungry and most importantly sharing is caring the link right above my head Take it, copy, paste it to your Instagram story, your Facebook wall, where else, Art? Anywhere you want. Anywhere you <laughs> want because- Preferably yeah. social media. Yeah. You put it on a street corner, but- You could do it, just won't be as effective. Uh, but let them know, yo, Flav City and Art are making some killer healthy recipes live. We don't stop, we can't stop until we start eating, right? So that's what's going on. Um, let's see what's going. We got. Puerto Rico in the house, Port St. Lucie's here. We got Boise, Idaho, they ain't just got uh, potatoes there. We got Flav City fans. Sahar well, is in the house. Somebody's excited for the meetup. Ooh, nice. Ellie Shover. Oh, I should have put that in the description box. So if you go Ooh. to Eventbrite, search Flav City. We're doing a Flav City cookbook party August 3rd in Chicago. Everyone who buys a ticket gets a signed copy. I'm doing a cooking demo there. And the uh, place that's hosting the event is going to cook recipes from my book, including grass-fed beef. Amazing. Eventbrite, Flav City, August 3rd. Art, me, Desi. Everyone's going to be there. It's going to be a grand old time. Lake got... Havasu City, home of London Bridge. Nice. Lon home of who? London Bridge. Oh, London Bridge. Okay, it's I didn't Lake know Havasu that. Lake City. Yeah, it's not in London. ATL is in the house. We got Chattanooga, Tennessee, not too far from the Bourbon Trail. Jacksonville, Florida. All right, my friends, let's do it. Um, 270 people on. What's our record? 800? 799, actually. Yeah, it's up there. All right, so we got some sharing to go. Let me get the salmon. This is probably the most important part of the recipe. Check it out, Art. Well, it is like the main dish. So. Yes, but what I'm doing right now, if you want to make crispy skin salmon, you have to keep it skin side up in the fridge for at least 30 minutes, ideally an hour and a half, because be my finger right now. So like, um, let's see, William or Deb, be my finger. Ooh. You're like ghosting the skin right now. That's right. Dry, right? It's not wet and slimy, I'm air drying it. So what does it do when it's in the fridge? It air dries. It really takes that moisture and wicks it away and that's how you make crispy skin salmon. Now, knowing that, we have to make the smoky cocoa spice rub. So I'm gonna use, Art, three ingredients here. I'm gonna use unsweetened cocoa powder because we don't want sugar in here. I'm gonna use, shocker alert, smell that. Smoked paprika, right? But think about it, right? It kind of makes sense. Smoky and chocolatey, yum, yum, yum. And then turmeric powder because it really just makes sense together. Let me just break in. Somebody said video not so clear. So also you want to make sure that your YouTube app settings are set to like a good level of quality if you can. Uh, if yes. You're, if you're not on your mobile connection, if you're at home on Wi-Fi, boost it up because. That's right. It should be pretty good. Should pretty, be good. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> Art and I got the router like literally a stone's throw away. So this is a really great recipe for a weeknight or honestly like a dinner party or a Sunday night because you can make it super elegant 
and plate it like a boss, or you can whip it together in no time at all and feed a family of five. I'm feeding a family of four tonight. No problem. But there is one thing I want to ask you guys, because sometimes I get confused and I forget what's going on, knowing that I want to make this crispy skin. This brings us to trivia number one of the night. Do I want to salt the skin now and let the fish marinate for 15 minutes? Or should I maybe put the spices on first and then add salt to the skin right before it goes in the pan? What do you guys think and why? I don't want just a yes, no, now, later. I want why. Why oh why? Now, that smells amazing. Try right? bud dry. <laughs> Say again? Why well, ask why try bud dry? <laughs> That's old school. Sorry. Okay. Um, I'm going to wait for the answers to come in, but first I'm going to flip the salmon around. Art can read off some answers while they're coming in. So we got one person here who says... One oh, keep person. Scrolling. I need more than one. Spices first, salt later. Okay. First salt because it draws out moisture. Salt now, it brings up the moisture. Interesting. Now to dry it more. Don't want to pull out water. It won't crisp. Interesting. Add salt later. Keep it moist. Interesting. Later, salt draws out moisture, which is the enemy to crispiness. Ooh, I like that. I like that one too. Okay, that's, that's the best answer of the night, and that's the correct answer of the night. Because I always say enemy, so obviously that person is a huge Flav City fan. But let's break it down, because even a few people who got it wrong, got it wrong, but for the right reason. So salt pulls out moisture, right? So why would I want to add it to the skin now if it pulls out moisture? That's going to end up wicking a bunch of moisture to the surface and making water there. So I don't want to do that. I just want to salt the fleshy parts. And what I actually want to do too is salt the side. And then I'll turn it back to the skin side. So I'm going to let it sit, honestly, just for like, I don't know, 10 minutes or something. Even in that 10 minutes, what's going to happen is that salt pulls a little bit of moisture to the surface and it helps that spice rub get into the fleshy part of the salmon, but not the skin side. So I always do those trivia questions because it's all depending what you're trying to do. If you're trying to make food like super crispy or caramelized, you want to salt later. Think onions, think mushrooms. That does not apply when you're making a big fat steak, okay? When you're making a big steak, it's so thick, <clears throat> it doesn't matter, right? It's not gonna pull so much moisture to the surface anyway. Now, that being said, I'm gonna put this back in the fridge because I don't want it to start sweating. It's 90 degrees outside, um, it's cooler in the fridge, and it can just chill in there. Speaking of cool art, where did we just come from that chilled you to the bone? Uh, both, uh, a couple grocery stores, uh -huh. the uh, ice cream aisle. That's right. We went to the ice cream aisle because this weekend, one of the two videos is gonna be an ice cream review. I couldn't let summer go by without doing it, right? So it's not necessarily about like, what is the healthiest ice cream? Because ice cream is supposed to be indulgent. It's about what's the best quality ice cream. Who uses real ingredients? Who uses organic dairy? Who uses um, less stabilizers, emulsifiers, and stuff like that? And we have a number of keto ice creams. Um, two or three you can get at the grocery store. One of them, hint, is this one right here. Spoiler alert. Where is it? This one is one of the best keto ice creams on the market. It's called the Rebel. You can get it at Jewel in Chicagoland. This whole pint only has six grams of net carbs. The sweetener is erythritol and monk fruit. The butter pecan, I just tasted it, is amazing. So stay tuned for that video. And what's the other one gonna be this weekend, Art? It's gonna be one on nut and legume butters. That's right, nut and legume butters and seed butters. That's we went deep for this dive, you guys. We covered nut butters, seed butters, highest protein butters, lowest carb butters, jams and jellies. Um, what else? We covered uh, in that one um, palm oil. We covered grinding your own uh, nut butter at the store. We talked about everything you need to know about nut butters. That's coming up this weekend. That and the ice cream. Come on, holla at your boys when you see them in the street. And it's really nerve wracking these days because we got kicked out of Whole Foods last week. So like, luckily there's a lot of grocery stores here in Chicago, but like Art and I are super nervous at the grocery store. And y'all can't always see that in the videos because we look like cool customers walking around like I own the store. But in between those shoots, Art's going like this with the camera, like that. I'm like rolling my eyes to the side. And there's so many times you don't see it where it's like I'm mid-sentence and then boom, camera goes down because the employee's walking by. So it's not easy. I wish it was, but it's not. The only place that doesn't bother us is Costco. There I can be like, 
a free bird, but everywhere else is really hard. Okay, guys, 539 people watching right now. We got crispy uh, skin salmon about to go in a pan. That crispy skin salmon is covered in a smoky cocoa spice rub. Who does that? We do that. That's who. We're going to serve that with an extremely buttery, garlicky, uh, sautéed spinach and a dish I haven't made for a long time, orange glazed carrots that are so sticky and caramelized they're delicious. Here's what you got to do if you haven't done so. Show some love. Heart the video. Hearts, right? Hearts matter, right? It's the heart that matters most, as Adam Duritz says. Um, <laughs> the link above my head. You copy, you paste that to the Facebook page and the Instagram uh, story. You say, yo, Bobby and Art are making some recipes. Let's hang out, my friends. And last but not least, August 3rd, Flav City Cookbook Party in Chicago. Search Flav City on Eventbrite, or I can put the link up here later on. Uh, it's going to be great. Everyone coming. It's a signed cookbook recipes from my book and a VIP cooking hour. Fantastic time. There's only 70 tickets left. Okay, we got <clears throat> Michigan. The feeling is forever. Thank you, Jimmy Poop. Jimmy, Char oh, Jimmy Pops. <laughs> Jimmy Pops. Char Troyer's in the house. Oh, what's up, Char? Char France from... France is in the house. Brazil no. is in the house. Brazil, obrigado. Somebody is asking if I'm your brother or a friend. Uh, Art is my brother from another mother. That's who he is. We got Mira from France. Oh, Mira, je m'appelle Robert. I've seen Alabama in Missy the house, Florida in the Alabama house. slammer. Wish I lived there for the book signing. Well, hopefully we'll come around more as like uh, something happens with a book tour, maybe. Who knows? All right, less talking because some people complain about that. Um, let's get going with the... Did I answer somebody's question? No, we do not have Wegmans here. No, we don't have Wegmans, unfortunately. Good folks, there's so many questions that come by on the screen here. I can't necessarily get to all of them, but uh, yeah. I certainly try. Just Hide keep asking. Marks in the house. Nice. So guys, ghee goes in the pan. If you're a Flav City follower, you know that we love Thrive Market, and this is the ghee of all ghees. It's organic grass-fed ghee. If you want to try it and get 25% off, you go to thrivemarket.com slash flavcity, 25% off your first order. I have three of these jars. We're going to put that in the pan. And before we add the carrots, I'm going to take garlic and just smash a roux. Love you too. We're going to take three garlic cloves and we're just going to smash them and then add them to the pan. And then along with this, look, Lemon thyme, right? Mm -hmm. This is the fancier thyme because it actually has. Can you smell it, Pam or Dan or Debbie? Get your nose in there, right? Yeah. There, there, thank you, Art. Right? It has that lemony. Apologies if that really sounded nasty to everyone. <laughs> Put the microphone right No, I think it was. Oh, I think it was clean, Art. It didn't sound like too nasally or too okay. congested. That's good. That's lovely, right? So why are we doing this? Why am I tossing that in now? Because, Art, take a look back there. Let's go take a look. It's an opportunity to add flavor. And my channel is called Flav City for a reason because we have delicious butter. We have really nice garlic and thyme. If I give that a snap, crackle, pop, just a minute, right? And what I'm going to do is put a splatter guard on here. If I just give that a second, it's going to infuse the fat with lots of yummy aromatic flavors. Then I can add the carrots, cook them for a minute, then add the OJ, the honey, the chilies. Bob's your uncle, baby. Ricky Thompson saying the same thing I was just about to say. What's that? He said, would be good with a steak. <laughs> oh, yes. Art, and I said to Art at Whole Foods, I'm like, what should we make? He's like, steak? And then I'm like, no, seriously. I'm like, let's make salmon and steak. <laughs> That's what Art said. Surf He's like, surf and turf, Bobby. Come on. It's, it's pretty normal. So that's a good thing when it's crackling. You're basically toasting the, uh, frying the leaves and the fat. That's good. Do you still have the discount code for the ghee? Um, yes, yes. So that's not this ghee, but this ghee right here. I have two kinds of ghees I like. That's the basic ghee. This one is a startup in Venice Beach. Um, they send me this uh, for free because I give them lots of love on Instagram. They don't pay me at all. But if you go to Countertop Foods, you use, uh, what is it? Baby Flav or Flav Baby. And you get 20 or 25% off your order. This is a whipped ghee. So if you see this, it has like a more of like a buttercream consistency. I love this stuff. We've been crushing it. And it's part of Desi's postpartum diet. Um, postpartum recipes are so ex uh, important for the baby and for the mommies. So I would crush that for sure. Okay, now, oh, before this burns, let me take that off the heat for a second. All right, let's come over here and chop some carrots really quick. These are exciting carrots, you guys. These are organic rainbow carrots from the market. I get them from Whole Foods. In the house. Turkey? Nice, I love Istanbul. This is why I love them. Look at that, Art. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> when you have them like that? this, 
They're just beautiful, right? You can use baby carrots. Dang, the white towel is just changing. Dang, that was awesome. Dang, but this is more exciting to use these rainbow carrots. They're not really that expensive. I got two bunches for four bucks. And I like to leave the green part on just a little bit. And it's gonna get kind of roasted and caramelized on the outside. And it's gonna cook through perfectly. They're not gonna be soft and mushy. Like gone are the days of mushy carrots. They're gonna be almost al dente. It's really a lovely thing. Uh, Zaid asks, or Zaid asks, says, ask Bobby if he will do Gordon Ramsay Hell's Kitchen. No, I would never do that. Are you kidding me? Just, Absolutely not. Jess Lawrence is criticizing me for using auto white balance. I don't Ooh. really have much of a choice here <laughs> on uh, YouTube. Uh-oh, we got some critics here. So check it out. Carrots go in the pan. Now let's go back to our thinking, my friends, about salting. Now that we had the primer earlier, knowing that I want to caramelize these carrots and make them almost like burnt on the outside, do I want to salt them now or salt them later? That's my question for you. These go in. I'm gonna let them go for just a couple of minutes. Then I'm gonna put some OJ in there, fresh OJ, some honey, and some chilies. You literally let it cook down for 15 to 17 minutes, and that's it. So let's just chop. This is my favorite. This is a red finger pepper, or literally a red hot chili pepper, Anthony Kita style. Nice. I'm just gonna put that in. It doesn't really make the dish super spicy, just adds a nice. Nice little twang of heat, right Art? Yes. Okay, and I'm gonna get my Dutch oven. We're gonna cook a whole pound of baby spinach. Um, if you watch my uh, review videos at the grocery store, you will know that Whole Foods, if you buy the 365 brand, actually has really good deals. This uh, organic baby spinach from Whole Foods, this is a very weird angle, Art, <laughs> is cheaper actually than organic spinach from Aldi even Target, and it's the same price as Costco. So I always get about one of these a week, and I like to saute it because even though this looks like a ton, it wilts down to almost nothing. Now we're gonna put even more ghee in here. Should I come over there? Uh, I gotta chop some garlic, so you stay there for a second, Arturo. Somebody asked, what kind of salt are you using, Bobby? Oh, we'll get to that in a second. So many questions, and luckily, so much time. That's the beauty of the, of the live stream. We get to hang out for an hour, right? Moroccan chicken stew from the book rocks. Ooh, it is Bobby's favorite. That, that's right, baby. So from the cookbook, if you haven't ordered yet, go on Amazon worldwide. Search Flav City, and like that guy said, the recipes are amazing in that book. We have 125 low-carb keto recipes. Many are paleo, many are Whole30. And that Moroccan chicken stew with low-carb golden turmeric rice is life. It's so good. Toy asks if I'm from the South, so I may have had a little bit of an accent. Ah. I spent five years in Texas. So yeah, that's kind of close, right? Part of me is still down in Texas, I guess, so I guess I am from the South. What part of Texas, right? From East Texas. East, from the armpit of hell. That's where Art's from. <laughs> Summertime, it feels like that. So, um, we're just going to let <clears throat> the garlic toast in the uh, fat first. And then it's the easiest recipe because you basically wilt the whole thing down. You add a little bit of red pepper flakes, which I'm not going to do tonight because I don't want to give Desi spicy food because it's bad for the baby's breast milk. Um, and then you add a little bit of salt, pepper, and lemon juice at the end. Done. And a little spoonful of ghee. At the end, why not? It makes it delicious. Shout out from Dubai, love your channel. Dubai's in the house. We have a huge fan. Uh, Shaheen is from Dubai. It's not Shaheen now, it's, it's uh, Lubna. Lu oh, nice. Uh, Art should come back to Texas. No, 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 Jimmy, we need Art here. Art's a member of the Flav City fam. We ain't going to Texas unless we got like a big ranch. And we worked there and lived there and had like horses and dogs and and no state taxes. And no state taxes. That's right. And no corruption. That's what I like. That's right. Let's see here. My wife just got the book and has made some recipes. They were good. William, your wife is a smart person. Yes, Deborah Costco has the best price on almond flour by fan. By far. You're Matt D's favorite. Oh, nice. Thank you, Matt D. I appreciate that, my friend. Um, so things are going along really well here. Okay, keep leaving comments down below. Let us know where you're watching from. We're at 720 viewers, 80 more, That's and we break. Impressive. It's pretty good, actually. 80 more, and we break the record. So take the link above me right now, share it over to Instagram stories. Be like, yo, hashtag Flav City is making paleo recipes live. Let's hang out. 
And let us know where you're watching from. We have people from everywhere. Look at this. Dubai, Arkansas, Texas, Brasilia, Mississippi, Mississippi, Maryland, Maryland. the Big D. Song, yeah. it's amazing. Can oh. we please get a keto-friendly A1 and Heinz 57 steak sauce? Um, you know what, Deborah? That'd be a good question. I have um, mayonnaise, barbecue sauce, and ketchup. I don't use steak sauce because, Art, if a steak needs sauce, then what? It's not worth eating, right? No. A lot of the traditionalists say that. Well, I thought A1 is how steak is done. Oh, is that how it works? <laughs> That's what they say. A lot of people say you shouldn't eat steak sauce, but you know what? They fooled you, Jerry. <laughs> it shouldn't be that hard. I'll look into, into it for my friend. Saudi right? Arabia in the house, too. Who? Saudi Arabia. Oh, nice. Hong Kong. Wow, Hong Kong's here, too? Vegas, California. How cool is that? That's so cool about live streams, right? We can literally hang out with people. Hong Kong, it's like... Actually, it's not that late. It's early. It's uh, about 9 in the morning tomorrow. That's what's so cool about the interweb. I love it. Shy town in the house. <laughs> That's right, baby. I've learned so much by watching your videos. Thank you, B. Gerber. I love that. Canada. First time viewer. California. <laughs> uh, Bob, Bobby, what's your opinion about bi anti coco? Oh, uh, coco molokai. Um, I believe everything's good in there except it has natural flavorings, which you guys know I'm very against. Uh, so I don't really love that part of it. Malaysia in the house. All right, all right, come back here for a second. Malaysia. India. Wow, we have India too. Guys, this could be the most diverse crowd we've ever had on a live stream. So these are cooking really well. And if you said to salt later, you're right. Because once again, I'm trying to caramelize these. But right now, good things are happening in the pan, right? The carrots are getting nice and brown in that ghee garlic and thyme. Try to cook the microphone too. <laughs> yeah. And look at, I mean, it's just really colorful. So if you serve that to your kitties, they're really going to like the colors. Like and Elsinore, California. All right, check out what's going on here. This is a very important part, actually. See how the garlic's starting to get a little brown right there? Yeah. That's the time when immediately I take a big handful and I put it in. That'll stop the browning process and leach out a little right bit of there. water. Now, here's another really interesting thing I've learned about cooking spinach. This is gonna wilt down so much, you guys. So if you salt it aggressively right now, by the time it wilts down, it gets over salted. Because you see this quantity, right? You're like, boom, boom, boom. By the time it is the end, it's like, boom, salt bomb. So what I would just do is take a little bit of unrefined real salt and just pinch it in now, just to get the liquid pulled out even more. And then we'll add more later on. So someone asked about salt. All right, show these two salts right here. These are raw, unrefined salt. It's from a company I really like called Redmond Real Salt. This is the kosher kind, meaning it's a kosher crystal I can pinch. This is the fine sea salt. I can't really pinch that one as well because the grains run between my finger. Go and watch the video, Flav City Salt. We stopped using this kind of salt here because this salt is the kind I used to use any kind of white salt from Morton or Diamond, Christ, uh, Diamond Crystal is heavily processed and refined and bleached. And they take all the minerals out and they bleach it. I don't like this because it's chemical bleached and there's no minerals. This stuff is raw from the earth and it has over 70 minerals still in here. And it has a more complex taste and it's better for you. This just tastes like salt, straight up salt. This is almost like a nuanced kind of flavor, like a wine, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I would, oh, you can cook with Himalayan pink salt. You can cook with gray salt, Celtic salt. Anything's better than this stuff. That's my little, the more you know, the more you grow segment there. Hi, Cindy. Cindy wants a list of, uh, a segment of art approved foods. Oh, wow. <laughs> Cindy, that's, a, that's the first request for that. How about that? Well, actually, speaking of that, Cindy, let's do a little micro poll right now, a little bit. Art and I were talking about this earlier. So I'm getting an insane amount of uh, messages and uh, emails asking me to compile a master list of all of my Bobby approved uh, grocery store items. So if I wrote uh, an ebook that had two things in there, it'd have what to buy at each grocery store, like Costco, Aldi, Target, uh, Trader Joe's, and what to buy in each grocery aisle, like here's my bread go-to, here's my cheese, my nut butters, all that, would you buy it? And the cool thing about it, it's always constantly updating. So every time we do a new video, all that information goes into the book and it's going to be an encyclopedia of what to buy and what to, bo uh, what to avoid at the store. 801, we hit that. We hit 801? Whoa, high five, y'all. Boom, oh, yeah. goes the dynamite. Of course, it dropped right back to 7. That's <laughs> okay.
So what are they saying? Whoa, yes, I would buy it, I would buy it, I would buy it. Wow, okay. This sounds really promising. So see how that wilted down? I'm going to add the rest now. Because I think it's an invaluable, basically, encyclopedia to help you navigate the grocery store. And Art wasn't too sold about it earlier. What was your reservation about it, Art? I just didn't know if people would be interested in buying that. Yeah. And I just got the feeling from all the messages lately. Listen, I go to the grocery store for a lot of research, and I watch people. I'm a creeper. I watch people at the grocery store. That sounded really weird. Yeah. yeah. I watch them, and they're literally sitting there for five minutes deciding which peanut butter to buy. If you had a PDF with you saying, these are the Bobby approved ones and why, and these are the uh, ones to avoid, along with a master list of grocery stores, hey, I'm at Whole Foods. I'm at Whole Foods, Bobby says buy this. Hey, I'm in the bread aisle, Bobby says buy that. I think that'd be really cool, and it sounds like you guys would like it too. So I think Art and I are gonna research that, and we can put it out, and like I said, every time we have a new review coming out, like ice cream or nut butters, that gets updated to the book along with the video. So it's really an invaluable source, I think. But as long as you guys want it too, I'll put the effort into doing it. Okay, all right, check it out. Somebody wants the box to actually be branded as Bobby, Bobby Approved. They want what? The box to actually be branded <laughs> as uh, Bobby Approved. <laughs> okay, so we're getting some nice cook on these. Now, check out, this is ideally what you want. See the color on that carrot right there, Art? Mm -hmm. But now we need to start getting some liquid love in there. So. I have some fresh pressed OJ. This is the only part of the recipe, well that and the honey, that isn't keto, but it's paleo. And it creates this sauce or this glaze that is heavenly. So I'm gonna splash in the OJ. And then you need a sweetener like maple syrup or honey because that won't thicken and form a glaze by itself. So I need a good two to three tablespoons of honey. So I'm gonna add that. This is raw Bulgarian honey that Desi's mother sent from Bulgaria. I think it might be illegal. I'm not sure what the, what the regulation is on that, but it's darn good stuff. So now that I already got a little bit of color on there, now I can salt it. So, you know, I wanna salt it now because I want that salt to seep into the food while it's cooking. So it really is such an intuitive thing. It's like, wait, but Bobby said, well, I already got a little bit of color on there. If you don't salt your food while it's cooking now, it's kind of hard to do it later on because when food is hot, the pores are open. Kind of like when you get a facial and that's really receptive to the salt and the seasoning. It'll go down into the middle of the food. And these are the little tips, right? These are the tips that we put in the cookbook. These are the tips that we do on our channel that just help you become a better cook. So there's a fan in India, I, I've seen this comment a couple times now, I don't know if it's the same person who's having a hard time finding kosher salt there. I mean, Himalayan salt, can you find that there? That would be... Yeah, well, here's my question. Can you find Himalayan salt that's in the kosher style? Meaning a lot of Himalayan salt I see at the store is very fine. I don't like cooking with fine stuff because it runs through my fingers. But can you find Himalayan salt that is not huge chunks, but something like a kosher? Kosher means the cut or the size of the crystal. It's not a brand. It's used to kosher the meat, so it's right. almost like a verb. Exactly. It's not so much that a rabbi blessed the salt. Exactly. Yeah. Right, so you want it because it has that kind of signature, you know, square or, you know, pyramid to it. It's very easy to pinch. That's what it means to be kosher. It is not an Apple Watch, Chris, that Bobby is wearing. I don't have a watch on at all. Well, it says normally. Oh, is it, is it no. Watch? Like, no, it's not enough. No, that's a Nike watch from literally 10 years ago that I used to work out with. People love that watch. It's the craziest thing. So this is cooking down. I think I should start preheating my pan for the salmon. 1925 Eddie. I don't think Costco carries real salt. No, they don't. You got to get it from Amazon or you got to get it from uh, Whole Foods. But I think Amazon's the best. Um, they're really good. They actually called me. They want to do a sponsorship with us. So stay tuned for that. This recipe is not keto. It is paleo. Yes. Um, everything's keto except for the carrots. The carrots are paleo. Now, I want a little bit of heat in there, but not too much. So, all right, I take a little bit of these red peppers and I just put it in here. And what does it do? It kind of steeps in the liquid without getting too fiery. I don't like a lot of spice. And like I said, for the breast milk, I don't want a ton of fire. But right now, it's watery. It's gonna reduce. When it reduces, two things happen. It gets thicker from the sugars in the orange juice and it gets thicker from the honey. Magic, magic, magical things happen, you guys. Yes, Chris, new videos Saturday and Sunday. Stay you tuned. know it, that's right, you guys. So here's what you have to do now. 
Subscribing to my channel is obviously a requirement, but after you do that, there's a little bell icon right below this video and Art will tell you why it's vitally important you t uh, put that bell icon on. You will be notified of, you, well, you have the option. Yes. Some notifications, all notifications. I would recommend all yes. because we don't bombard you with too much stuff. No, no, and, no. Uh, like me, I was notified 30 minutes before this went live, and right at the hour when it went live, you will be on top of everything we do here at Blake exactly. City on YouTube. Well said, Art. So do the bell icon, all notifications, because then you're going to get a push when the videos go live on the weekend, but more importantly, you'll get a push when I schedule one of these. Push it real good. I pu pu push it real good. Do you want to miss out on our live streams? We get to hang out, have a good time with 850 of our closest friends. By the way, everyone say hello to Art real quick. Oh, the man. The myth, Howdy, everybody. the good legend, Art. He is the patriot. Why he's wearing right. that shirt? Uh, Art and I had a good time at the grocery store today. Art, right, show everyone how you're constantly looking out of the corner of your eyes when you're filming. Do you want the hands there too? Yeah, fake it. <laughs> Art's eyes are on a swivel, you guys. <laughs> or, or then there's the, you see the employee and you're like. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Art pretends like he's texting. Yeah. It's really yeah. cool. Um, Joseph just bought our cookbook. Thank you so much. I think I see. Uh, our friend from Twitter, I think, uh, uh, Jeff or Jen, were cooking salmon. Hey guys, I, we're not making recipes from the book today, but I just wanna let you know how much I love you guys because we did recipes from the cookbook last week. So many of you guys ordered cookbooks after that live stream. The Amazon ranking went from 900 to 500. So we pretty much like leaped up 50%, which is amazing. 125 low carb recipes that actually taste good. good, right? That's the operative word, you guys. Go to Amazon, it ships worldwide. Just type in Flav City. This book has 430 five-star ratings. I really believe it's some of the best, most tasty, low-carb food that doesn't make you feel like you're on a diet. You don't feel like you're sacrificing anything when you make these recipes. Laura Lopez asks, where do we buy the cookbook? Oh, you could buy the cookbook on Amazon. You can order on Barnes and Nobles, um, iBooks, Kindle, Hopefully Costco, we're waiting on Costco. It's unbelievable. So many fans saw my Costco video this weekend and I mentioned that they haven't ordered yet. They emailed Costco, they tagged them on social media. So hopefully soon Costco is gonna get their act together. Okay, so things are really happening here. The spinach, I mean, one pound of spinach just wilted down to that. How crazy is That's that amazing. you guys, right? It's really amazing. I mean, it's also kind of sad. I thought like you should have put more in there. I know, I spent $5 and it's down to like one serving. Is that the whole package? That was the whole thing. Look at this guys. Yeah. Holy shnikes, look. Jesus this... Flores, one dollar. Oh, thanks, Jesus. Look at all that spinach, right? Dang. All of it, gone. See, vegetables are water, especially those. Now, let's revisit art in the fridge here. Is there a Flave City app? Uh, there's not, you know, Some, somebody has asked me personally to make the app. Yeah, I don't think that's I art. have to start learning how to program. Yeah, the art's got other things. Well, I don't understand why you want an app. I have my Flave City blog and I have the YouTube and everything, an app, I, I don't understand that. They want like an app that shows what you'll look like in 20 years if you eat Bobby's meals. <laughs> What's it called, face something? Face app. Face, Flav Flav City, app. Flav, Flav app. app, that's right. Um, if you didn't join us in the beginning, this is for farm-raised, super high quality fillets of fish. We put cocoa, turmeric, and uh, smoked paprika and salt on the fleshy side. We did not salt this side because we want it to be dry. Really quickly, we're using really high quality Norwegian, Norwegian wood, Norwegian uh, fish from Whole Foods. If you buy farm raised, it has to be high quality. Norway has the highest standards in the world. It's only $9.99 a pound at Whole Foods and they have some of the best. If you don't know where it comes from, buy wild. But I love buying this because it's so darn fatty and juicy and very hard to overcook. Somebody wants the proportions of the spices. Oh yeah, so put one teaspoon each of smoked paprika, unsweetened cocoa powder and turmeric in a bowl and dust it over it. This is what it looks like. I mean, it's a really beautiful color. It looks like a, a vibrant chocolate almost. And you just dust it over. Somebody said we need to have the cookbook for sale on QVC. I think oh, dude, I want to get on QVC so bad. Can you imagine me for an hour with David cooking recipes? We would sell thousands of books. I just, I don't understand these people. I want to be on a, I want to go on today's show and cook keto recipes with Al Roker. Like, no one's showing me any love. Al's not calling or responding to my messages. QVC, yeah, you know me. Costco, how many videos have we made from Costco that have millions of views, literally? They're not even carrying my cookbook? Like what in the world is going on? Can Flav City get any respect? I'm the Rodney Dangerfield of YouTube. I can't get any respect. Oh, you're getting respect because Jeanette, Jeanette Deaver just gave you $1.99, so thank you. Oh, Jeanette, thank you so much. I appreciate that, you're so sweet. 
So sweet. No, I'm uh, not his brother. I'm a brother from another mother. He's a brother from question. another mother. Uh, it sounds like some people want the app like for shopping. So I guess they're kind of thinking like the same thing you're thinking about. Okay. The format like you're okay. talking ebook. They're yeah. talking app. So okay, app is really really difficult. You need like a web designer and a coder. How about I just spend some time with Art making an ebook, right? We'll charge like $9.99 or whatever, and that'll have all the information you need for every grocery store and every aisle. It's gonna be an invaluable tool that's constantly updated. As soon as we make a new video review, all that information gets pushed to the book and with a video. I think that'll be cool. You'll cruise the aisles instead of wasting time being like, which one of these breads should I buy? I'll be like, boom, Bobby approved. Boom, Bobby approved. No, that one's a sucker. Bobby said no on that one. You'll be in and out in no no time at all. I think that's the way to do it. Uh oh, it just froze up on the on this thing. Uh, let's see. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is not good for business. Okay, so let us know if you can hear us because right now it seems like everything froze up. Oh no. Oh no. Try to walk over there. Maybe it'll. Me. All right, we're trying to work on this here. Technical um, difficulties. Tell us if you can hear us. Here, you know what, what froze. YouTube was having a. Uh, some issues this morning. It was down, and you know what? Oh no! You can hear us. You can hear us. Yeah. Okay. Well, stay wow. tuned. I mean, hopefully it'll come back any second now. I tried to log on to YouTube this morning and watch some videos, and it was having a hard time. Yeah. Uh -oh. oh, come on, YouTube. We're in the middle of a really cool we're at live stream. Eight hundred seventy something people. I know, and they're still sticking around. I think. Okay. Well, someone tell me when you can see me. This is a bummer. Yeah. I want to start this salmon, but I feel like. I don't want you guys to miss out. I can pretend I'm Pat Hughes and try to like describe <laughs> what I'm seeing as <laughs> you're cooking. Yeah. Bobby's wearing his black Chicago style shirt. Oh, <laughs> dog. I was kind of bummed out this morning because when YouTube goes down, people upload videos, and if it's down, those videos don't get pushed to anyone, and it's a big Still bummer. Frozen. Uh, wow, come on now. Let me try to reverse the camera. Maybe that will. Whoa, that just reversed the image. No, I don't think that's it. Yeah. Oh man. Oh man, this is. This is crazy. Filming and color commentary. That's right. And it froze me with like duck face there. I'm like trying to kiss you guys or something. So yeah, well, Bobby hasn't left yet. Just his, his no. likeness. That's his right. His likeness has left you. Uh, they can hear us. Well, guys, hang on. Yeah, hopefully this will come back. Um, you can get audio vision. I mean, there's still 863 people. Hey, hang on, y'all. Close can... out and reboot. Mm. I'm refreshing the page and hold on. I'm getting an ad now. It might work. It's all good. Let's see here. Is it good? Just Skip restart. ad. We'll all come back. Ah, it's still. It just served me an ad just to see the thing. Tell, well, us, a tell us a joke. <laughs> nah, you don't oh, want me as the man. joke. So, in the meantime, Art, right, tell everyone again what's coming up this weekend on the Flav City okay, YouTube this channel. This weekend, uh, you will be getting a taste of supermarket nut butters and seed butters and legume butters because peanuts are not <laughs> nuts. And uh, then you will also be treated to a little review of ice creams and uh, not necessarily what is healthy in the ice cream world, but which ones are better for you, which ones have better ingredients. Uh, a few that are keto ice creams. Yep. And we're still frozen here. Maybe need a new camera. It's, it's not the camera. No, no, it's definitely not the camera. Trust me. It's you too. Okay, so people are saying restart. So restart the stream? Yes, if y'all promise to re rejoin, we will restart, but. Ooh, that's dangerous. Uh, I mean, it, we're not going to program it for the future. We'll just go live. And right, right, right. I get, yeah. Do you guys want that? We can, I guess we can. Uh, because it's not like AM radio. Right. Like city show. Well, it's, we can man. do that. I mean, do you want to do that real quicker? Restart stream. Okay. So All right. I don't know any other solution other than. The That's fine. Let's it. do it. So we will see you guys on the flip side here. We're yep. going to end this and come right back. Hopefully. All right. Be back in one second, guys. Yes. In the words of Arnold, I'll be back. <laughs>